Chapter 208, Returning with Riches. In that moment, Lin Ming calmed down. He could feel the scalding heat and the burning pain fade away, and even the raging firestorm seemed to stand still. He could clearly perceive every sensation, even the painful roars of the blue thunder lizards. Calm down. Calm down. Lin Ming's breathing became gentle. His eyes closed as he entered into the ethereal martial intense state, his soul entering into a sea of utter tranquility. At the same time, the true essence in his body began to revolve wildly. The heretical god seed beat in the same rhythm as his heart. Flame essence. Lin Ming's eyes slammed open. Without any more reservations, he completely thrust all of his true essence into his flame essence. By relying on the thunder soul, Lin Ming could withstand even the thunder attacks of the blue thunder lizards. Then, with a similar concept, he could use the flame essence to resist the fiery doom of this flaming storm. The sesame seed-sized flame essence became Lin Ming's final hope. Ha! Ah, the power of fire contained in the flame essence erupted outwards. Meanwhile, the fierce heat of firestorm flowed like a surging tide into Lin Ming's body. The two energies clashed within him. This was the power of flame that was released by an extreme Zianchen master. It was the blaze of a true vermilion bird. Lin Ming was only a mere peak bone forging martial artist. Even with the flame essence, it would be difficult to deal with. The heretical god Seed's power of fire was instantly and completely suppressed from the very outset of the energy collisions. Seeing that the firestorm would burn down his own meridians, at this crucial moment, Lin Ming let out a fierce cry. His eyes became the same deep amber shade of a flood dragon. Roar! A bass resonant roar issued forth from Lin Ming's body. This sovereign sound did not come from Lin Ming's throat, but rumbled forth from his entire body. In that moment, behind Lin Ming, the shadow of an azure dragon appeared from nowhere. A vast and majestic aura filled with boundless vigor suddenly burst forth. Fuan. Lin Ming's true essence manifested into azure light that shot out like a ten thousand swords towards the approaching firestorm. This azure-colored true essence had a hint of eternal immortality. Although its aura was far less potent than the firestorm, and even though it was engulfed by the fires of the storm, the azure true essence was not extinguished. It completely rid the flames in Lin Ming's body. In this life or death crisis, on the precipice of doom, the true azure dragon's reverse scale blood that had fused into Lin Ming's heart had finally awoken. In that moment, the thunder flood dragon was attacking the woman in red with his claws. Suddenly, he heard the staggering roar of the dragon, and his vast body trembled. It was as if a fear that stemmed from the deepest shadows of his soul had spilled forth, flooding his entire body. True dragon? No. Impossible. How could Sky Spill Continent possibly contain a true dragon? The thunder flood dragon didn't even have the time to turn back. The woman in red four-foot blood-colored sword had already directly pierced towards him. In a battle between masters, to be distracted was a fatal taboo. Die. The thunder flood dragon opened its great mouth and a pure black thunder ball came out to attack the woman in red. At the same time, the woman in red scarlet long sword had pierced the thunder flood dragon's body. The firestorm spun Lin Ming and a seven or eight deep blue thunder lizards away and they pounded onto the magnetic core ground 1,000 feet away from the thunder flood dragon's cave. At this time, Lin Ming was as naked as when he was born, and many places on his body were charred black. His hair was burned. He looked to be in an incomparably miserable state. However, by virtue of the dominating power of flame essence and the awakened strength of the reverse scale blood, Lin Ming was able to protect his meridians. Although he was injured in the firestorm, it wouldn't leave hidden wounds that would negatively affect his cultivation in the future. As long as he took time to recuperate, he would be able to make a full recovery. The seven or eight blue thunder lizards, however, were in a wretched condition. If they hadn't been injured, they would have managed to survive barely, but these thunder lizards had already been seriously injured in battle. This time, they were caught in the firestorm, and their entire bodies were roasted black. They were half dead. As Lin Ming landed, he bounced up and immediately turned around and ran. The only thought in his mind was to leave Thunder Crash Mountain as fast as he could, and run far 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 away. When he fell, the thunder lizards that were on the ground didn't have a chance to respond. When they did, Lin Ming had already run over 1,000 feet away. A dark blue thunder lizard growled, and chased after Lin Ming intending to kill him. It faintly remembered that this human had come from the Ancestor's Cave entrance. Did this human enter the Ancestor's Cave? Thinking this, the deep blue thunder lizard became immeasurably angry. Not even the purple thunder lizard had the right to enter the Ancestor's Cave. A mere human dared to blaspheme them and trespass into their holy land? The dark blue thunder lizard roared, and several other thunder lizards started rushing towards Lin Ming. They all gathered together to chase Lin Ming down and eviscerate him. These were high-quality beasts with the bloodline of a flood dragon. Their bodies were extremely powerful. Even the explosive aftermath of his Ancient Master's attacks hadn't killed them. Lin Ming activated his movement technique to the maximum. He dearly wished that he could spring forth a pair of wings and fly. Even though he had the top movement technique, golden rock shattering the void, his speed was still inferior to the Dark Blue Thunder Lizards. He was at the peak of bone forging and they were at the peak of Haoshan. This was a full two realms difference in their cultivation levels. It was a deficiency that top air movement technique couldn't make up. Luckily, the Ancient Realm Purple Thunder Lizard was too strong and hadn't been sucked into that flaming tornado. Otherwise, Lin Ming would already have died by now. The seven or eight thunder lizards angrily rushed forwards. Especially the deep blue thunder lizard, its power was equal to a half-step Haoshan realm martial artist. Its speed was like lightning. Its horrifying agility was simply completely visually incompatible with its size. Boom boom boom. The deep blue thunder lizard shattered the magnetic stone beneath its feet as it ran forwards at high speed. Its entire body was surrounded by crackling arcs of blue lightning. Its running speed was nearly one and a half times faster than Lin Ming, even with the approaching threat that it would overtake him. At the moment, Lin Ming was incomparably calm. He remembered. There was a cliff not too far away. 
If he rushed into the sky, it would be likely to attract the attention of the Thunder Flood Dragon. So, jumping off the cliff was the best choice, Kaka. The Dark Blue Thunder Lizard chasing him opened its mouth to spit out a Dark Blue Thunder Ball towards him. At the same time, Lin Ming saw that the cliff was only a few dozen feet away. He leapt into the air, his body drawing an R through the sky. He was like an arrow that had been shot towards the cliff. Bang! The Blue Thunder Ball accurately struck Lin Ming. But the force of the blow also accelerated Lin Ming's movement. Lin Ming forcefully suppressed the growing numbing feeling in his body as he conjured his true essence again. With the aid of the concept of wind, his speed had reached an extreme. The cliff was 10,000 feet high, Lin Ming couldn't even see the bottom. He was like a flying bird, jumping off the cliff, rawr, rawr. As the seven or eight chasing blue thunder lizards saw the cliff, they abruptly stopped. They stood at the edge of the cliff, mouths dripping with unbridled fury as they roared at the cliff bottom. The thunder lizards could not fly, let alone the peak house and blue thunder lizard, even a Zainshin realm thunder lizard could not fly. They could only do so if they awakened the true potential in their bloodline, becoming an avatar of a thunder flood dragon. Several of the thunder lizards were unwilling to let things go, constantly shooting blue lightning off the cliff. But by now, Lin Ming had already turned into a small spot in the distance. Besides the lightning attacks of two dark blue thunder lizards, everything else missed. The speed of the lightning was too quick, because Lin Ming had also been injured, he was unable to dodge the two thunder balls. Bang! An intense numbing sensation surged within him. Even though Lin Ming had a thunder soul in him, he had been hit so many times that he spat out blood. The worrying sound of air breezed past his ears. With just a few breaths of time, Lin Ming was already 1,000 feet from the bottom. Lin Ming clenched his teeth and ignored the injuries he had taken. Lin Ming fiercely moved his true essence and spread his arms outwards. An invisible force generated under Lin Ming's body as his falling speed suddenly decreased. After a few moments, Lin Ming's speed had come to a complete standstill. He took a spare set of clothes out of his spatial ring and quickly put it on. With a wave of his hand, he landed on a rock, sliding down towards the bottom of the cliff. Lin Ming then held on to a large tree that was at the bottom of the cliff, gasping for breath. Although he hadn't been in any intense fights, just resisting the firestorm a while ago had consumed most of the true essence reserves in his body. As he recalled the azure-colored true essence that contained a hint of eternally immortal breath, Lin Ming was secretly startled. Was that the power that came with the reverse scale blood? He looked up at the cliff top. This cliff was 8,000 feet high. If a thunder lizard really did think of jumping down, they would be turned into a muddy mess of flesh. Not knowing how the battle between the thunder flood dragon and the woman in red had ended, Lin Ming didn't dare to stop to heal his wounds. He forcefully suppressed the churning blood in him, and turned to run down the mountain. He wanted to immediately leave Thunder Crash Mountain in one go. If he ran 180 miles and changed directions a few times and then, hide in a bunch of tall grass, he didn't believe that the Thunder Flood Dragon could still find him. Thinking of the harvest he had in his spatial ring, Lin Ming's thoughts heated up with delight. These were the Thunder Attribute treasures that the Thunder Flood Dragon had saved up for 10,000 years. And yet, he had picked them like beaches. If the Thunder Flood Dragon discovered this, he was afraid that it would probably swallow him alive just to vent its anger. With the aid of a concept of wind, Lin Ming was able to quickly descend the mountain. Because he was already far away from the Thunder Flood Dragon, he didn't need to be discreet. He launched his movement technique and leapt several hundred feet into the air. This ability was similar to flight. After he passed the Snow Mountain region, he reached the mountainside. To Lin Ming, nothing here was a threat to him. But at this time, Lin Ming actually felt a deep pain throb in his body. Damn, my injuries are flaring up. Lin Ming frowned. The lightning attacks from the Thunder Lizard weren't much, but the flames from the Vermilion Bird continued to grow. Although it had been overwhelmed before by the Azure True Essence, now it had suddenly resurged like a wildfire that met a spring breeze. If he had the support of the flame essence, Lin Ming wouldn't be too alarmed. But, the rogue fires in his body had already left the flame essence. With such a tenacious vitality, it really made him feel apprehensive. With Lin Ming's current condition, let alone summoning that azure true essence, he didn't even know how much ordinary true essence he could mobilize. I can't forcefully restrain it again, otherwise, I might damage my meridians. With wounds to the meridians, it will be very difficult to heal. It will leave behind hidden wounds that become a barrier for when I try to break through to pulse condensation. Lin Ming took a pill out of his spatial ring and swallowed it. He decided to first leave Thunder Crash Mountain, and then, find a safe and hidden place to heal his wounds. Afterwards, he would devour the power of thunder from the rare treasures and materials he had obtained. After reading up these rare treasures, just how strong would the thunder soul in him become?